away on the way to a World Cup semi-final. How are you feeling right now? Oh, look, we're all in a, a fantastic place at the moment. Players are shattered, clearly, because it was a real tough game for us yesterday. Huge occasion emotionally. Huge occasion with the pressure of the supporters and our team of 23 taking on a Canadian nation. But the players really fronted up, delivered a, an excellent performance. I think we, we knew we could do it, but to actually go and do it is another thing. And it's unbelievable. You know, we're all so excited. I just can't wait to play the next game now. Obviously, you got on in the second half for your, your first appearance at this tournament. Must have been a special moment for you to, to be on the pitch at the final whistle. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, obviously, you always want to be playing, and as a sub goalkeeper, you don't often think that you're going to get called upon, but you've always got to be ready and you've because anything can happen. And, and thankfully, like, I came on and, and then, yeah, I did all right. The overriding emotion has got to be a huge sense of pride for the whole group. You know, we've got a great group of players, a really fantastic group of mature women who've come together, support each other on and off the field and a group of staff behind the scenes who've, who've been incredible. They've worked hard every single day to give these players the best possible chance of performing on the field. So the group's delivered, it stayed together, it stayed strong. We've seen example after example of that this tournament and if we can keep that going, you know, we'll certainly be a very, very difficult opponent for anyone. You've scored two and two, your phone must be in meltdown. Yeah, it is a little bit. I'm going for three and three. No, not really. Uh, yeah, my phone's going pretty crazy at the minute, but I mean, it's just the support that we're getting from back home and even in Canada is just unbelievable. And it's, you know, it's not just for me, it's for everyone. And, you know, we're so grateful for that opportunity. The girls are loving it. They're absolutely loving it. So it's uh, it's good fun at breakfast to, to hear the girls running in and shouting that Wayne Rooney's done this and Rio Ferdinand's done that and Danny Dyer's done this and Jesse Glynn has just done this. And it's, it's awesome, isn't it, for the players who um, have worked all their lives without the recognition probably they deserve for the work they've put in, the dedication they've given to their career. So it's it's great now they're getting some rewards, but the team is certainly determined to keep the journey going and get more and more massive support. But to be the first women's team, England women's team, to make the semi-final World Cup is unbelievable. And, you know, we know that we're one win, one win from a final and... That's just, it's just crazy to even think about that we could potentially win the World Cup. And now it's Japan in the semi-finals. They're the reigning world champions, but England beat them four years ago in the World Cup. Confidence must be sky high. Well, definitely. We know Japan are a fantastic side. They, they pop the ball around for fun. Technically, they're a really good side and they're the only team left in the competition that's won every game. So you, you can't look past that. But we know that we'll have to look at the game plan, tactics, get that right, and, and we'll be back on that tomorrow.